The COVID-19 pandemic changed practically every facet of life. For filmmakers, it prompted a different type of creativity. A Rockland County resident was one of the first to film when New York reopened and decided to shoot a TV pilot entirely in Rockland. I spoke with him and one of the show's actors. What was it like to to shoot in in you know the the COVID times? I mean, how did you handle production, the actors, things like that? Yeah, well, it was a wild time. Um, we shot this in July, and it was the first week that New York State allowed filming. And the rules and the regulations were literally changing every morning. Indie filmmaker Elias Plagiano says he turned to just writing when society more or less shut down during the pandemic and came up with an idea for a show he could film locally. Is there any reason why someone in Hudson Falls would have your card, your business card, Mr. McLean? McLean. I don't know. Maybe. What the hell has this got to do with anything? A body was found. Your card was found on the person. We believe it's a professor at the university. So we'd just like to ask you a couple questions. Hudson Falls tells the story of an LGBTQ science professor who mysteriously quits her job at a university and opens a craft brewery. Things get complicated when a private eye comes to town to serve her legal papers, and the secrets of this small upstate university town begin to unravel. Plagianos, whose film and television projects have won Best Director, Best Feature Film, Best Short Film, Best TV Pilot, and Best Actor awards for his cast at more than 75 international film festivals, says he was inspired by Poughkeepsie, with its colleges and craft breweries, in creating the fictional town Hudson Falls. Dutchess County resident and actor William Sadler is in Hudson Falls. I was reluctant to do this with Elias. Um, first of all, I love I love. I love Elias. I did a pilot with him called Shoot Me Nicely a couple years ago that went on to win like 40 awards and what have you. But he called in the middle of this pandemic and said, I'm doing this thing. Can I, you know, um, can I send you the script and would you like to do it? And uh, it, 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 it took a little convincing because I have some underlying health issues and I was not, you know, I'm not interested in catching this thing or bringing it home to my uh, my wife and family. As it turned out, I could drive myself um, to the location. Um, everybody was tested repeatedly. The, the The COVID protocols that they put in place were terrific, and I, you know, in the end, I felt safe enough to do it. Sadler, whose mother died from COVID in the spring, says there were changes to the script to accommodate COVID nineteen protocols. I was joking with Elias. I said, you know. You why don't you shoot it in Poughkeepsie? Because then you'd be only like 10 minutes away from me. I only do things that I can drive to these days um, because uh, I don't want to get on a plane. You know, I don't feel safe traveling great distances. And uh, so this was kind of tailor-made. We shot outdoors, which made it safer. They changed, in the original script, it was supposed to happen in my character's office with several other people, um, they cut it down to one other person, and, <laughs> and the scene takes place out on a sunny hillside. He describes a day on the set where actors did their own hair and makeup. Like I said, I drove to the set. They took my t- somebody in PPE took my temperature before I got out of the car. Then I walked to a little tiny tent, and. They'd laid out my clothes. I put the clothes on. I combed my hair, walked to the set. We rehearsed with, you know, the camera guy, sound and prop person, and Elias, and that was it. Um, We rehearsed, and we shot it, and I got back in my car and drove home. Um, it uh, It was really kind of bare bones. Plagianos, who lives in Clarkstown, says he wrote the pilot knowing he'd be on set during COVID, but wasn't sure what guidelines, including social distancing, would be in place when it came time to actually shoot the pilot. So scenes involving intimacy, for example, used some camera tricks. By kind of shooting uh, cleverly, having a shoulder in the frame, so you, you felt like they were together. But if you look at the film closely, there's rarely a shot where two actors are both in the same 
um, frame. <laughs> Sadler says paring it all down brought out creativity. For example, my character, um, he's a, an eccentric billionaire inventor um, who runs an enormous uh, chemical company. Um, and we find him out, and the, the reason that he's outdoors is because he's, he's painting. Um, he's doing this, you know, plein air painting when we, when we meet him. But it sort of opened up this, another color that wasn't there before. It wasn't in the script. Um, the, the constrictions that the COVID uh, protocols put on the shoot actually, I think in some ways, forced, forced us to get creative and look in other directions. For, you know, it made other things happen that wouldn't have happened otherwise. Meantime, during the pandemic, a film with Sadler came out, the long-awaited third installment in the Bill and Ted film series in which Sadler plays the Grim Reaper. Bill and Ted face the music. Sadler wonders about the long-term impact COVID will have on filmmaking. My guess is that if once, once people realize they can shoot a TV pilot with four people, <laughs> with, a crew of, with a crew of six or something, um, they'll, uh, once they can do it that cheaply, they realize they can make them that cheaply, they'll, they'll never want to go back to the old way. Hudson Falls premieres in June. Reporting from WAMC's Hudson Valley Bureau on the campus of Vassar College, I'm Hudson Valley Bureau Chief Allison Dunn.